most people know the, story, the poem Humpty Dumpty. When you picture Humpty Dumpty, what do you picture? An egg, perchance? If you think about it, you'll notice that nowhere in the poem does it say that Humpty Dumpty is an egg. This was a little tidbit I heard a while ago, and it got me thinking, well, if it doesn't say it in the poem, why is he always drawn as an egg? So I did a little bit of digging, and here's what I found. The earliest known written version of Humpty Dumpty is from 1810. There's a good chance that the poem dates back farther than that, and had been passed down through oral tradition first before being published in 1810. The first depiction of Humpty Dumpty as an egg was probably in Lewis Carroll's Through the Looking Glass in 1872, where he is drawn as an anthropomorphic egg. And one possible origin that would explain why Lewis Carroll depicted Humpty Dumpty as an egg is that the poem may have started as a rhyming riddle that asked the question, what was Humpty Dumpty? And the answer was an egg. There's another possible history behind the poem, and that dates back to the English Civil War. And there was a large cannon that had been nicknamed Humpty Dumpty, and it was put up on the wall around Colchester to hold off the parliamentarians. In June of 1648, the wall underneath Humpty Dumpty was damaged by parliamentarian cannonballs, and the cannon then fell to the ground. The forces in the city of Colchester were loyal to King Charles I, and they were unable to repair the Humpty Dumpty cannon and put it back up on the wall. Two months later, Colchester fell to the parliamentarians. Thanks for joining me for Fascinating Fact Friday. I'll see you tomorrow for Sock Puppet Saturday. Bye.